good morning so today we are going to discuss about the drug receptors interaction now what happens in the drug receptor interaction what we are uh, talking of whenever we are talking about the drug receptor interaction so here for example this is the receptor which is unoccupied here or unoccupied that means what that means endogenous substance or drug as we are talking about the drug so drug is not able uh, bind to that receptor so this receptor do not process any intracellular uh, activities or they are not initiating any intracellular activities or you can say that they are not altering any intracellular activities but whenever the drug it will bind to that particular receptor now it may be agonist it may be antagonist whatever it is so they will cause the activation of the receptor and as a result as a result they will send a signal so that that is causes the biological responses clear and it will due to that particular signaling they will process the biological signaling now here we are talking about the occupation by affinity and activation governed by efficacy because already we have told that what is mean by the affinity affinity is nothing but the uh, this is the uh, capacity of the drug to bind to the receptor so here we are telling that for example drug is a agonist the drug is a, a agonist uh, a is the agonist and it will bind to a receptor so this, these are the constants so there is a drug receptor complex the drug receptor complex are there and then what is the activation governed by the efficacy efficacy means to produce the biological changes, ultimate changes so this you can say that uh, this drug receptor receptor it will get activated and it will produce the responses clear it will produce the responses now if it is the antagonist if you consider this antagonist then they are going to bind but this efficacy it will be not just there so there will be no response or they will be inhibit the response of a endogenous substance so this is happens into the drug receptor interaction now here what whenever we are talking about the biological responses okay, what are the biological responses so here this is the receptor again the drug it will come and bind so you can say that drug receptor binding it will be there the okay, drug it will be binding it there. after the drug receptor binding there may be the different type of the uh, effect already we have discussed all those things for example it may cause the stimulation it may cause the initiation uh, sorry um, initiation response or the amplification it may cause the inhibitory effect it may produce the contractile effect or it may be produce the secretory effect or it may be produced you can say that irritation effect it may produce the cytotoxic effect etc etc it may be uh, triggered yeah? it may be triggered those uh, you can say that responses now whenever we are talking about the receptor and biological responses now this is very important about the receptor and biological responses because receptor and biological responses or the drug receptor interaction can be explained through the uh, receptor effector linkage so already till now whatever we have discussed in uh, our previous section whatever we have discussed we have discussed there is a four category of the receptor we have studied these are the ligand gated ion channel receptor g protein couple receptor linkage kinase link receptor and the nuclear receptor so this receptor whenever the drug it will bind to this particular receptor what will happen so they may be act of uh, into the different mechanism for example if the drug it will bind to the receptor then it will bind to the receptor ligand gated ion channel receptor what will happen they will cause the opening of some channel now this channel if you can say that if it is sodium then sodium it will come inside it will cause the excitation if it is chloride then chloride it will come inside it will cause the uh, inhibition if the potassium potassium it will go outside if the potassium channel is opening then you can say that uh, it will cause the inhibitory response so you can say that drug is triggering to the opening or opening of the those uh, different channels in case of the g protein couple receptor again in the g protein couple receptor we can find that the g protein is a uh, molecule which is uh, 
which is bind to the alpha subunit of the receptor and it when the gtp to gtp activation it is there they will trigger the response to the second generation in case of the kinase link receptor again we have seen that they having the two part alpha uh, that is the extracellular and intracellular part and they having the um, kinase residue tyrosine kinase is the main thing which undergo the phosphorylation and produce the effect into the either the uh, ras and mac pathway uh, or even jack strat pathway so these are the different mep kinase pathways so these are the different pathways in case of the nuclear receptor already we have seen that these are the receptor present inside the nucleus and whenever it is present inside the nucleus they will be uh, produced when the drug it will bind to the receptor to the genes transcription they will produce the effect so this is about the uh, a, you can say that uh, drug receptor interaction now we'll see about the what are the different bonds are there different bonds different interaction capacity and there is a drug receptor interaction it will be there